I'm Sam. I studied a Bachelor of Science majoring Food Science and Nutrition in the University of Queensland. I think I kind of like how food science and nutrition is so applicable to human health and the fact that it is so relatable to my own body, that was what was the biggest draw towards this uh, field of study. I am a Regional Policy Officer for Food Industry Asia. So Food Industry Asia is a trade association that comprises of big MNC companies in the FMB industry in Asia. I think the part that I'm most excited about with my job is the fact that I get to work with so many people across the industry in different sectors. So food industry, when people talk about the food industry, they are just thinking mainly about food manufacturing. But there's so much more to it than just production. You know, you get to meet people from the private sector where they do pre-packaged food and beverages. You meet people from academia who's leading research and innovation. You get to meet people from the government sector who is implementing policies and regulations. So I think that's really exciting to me because you get to meet so many people and you get to broaden your horizons with what you learn and the exposure that you get. So I did have different considerations when I was selecting my university to carry out my Bachelor's of Science. Uh, I think the biggest reason why I chose UQ was because of the reputation of the university. And the biggest reason for me to choose UQ was the fact that it is in Brisbane. Uh, in comparison to other cities, it's a lot more affordable to live in. And Australia is a lot closer to home as compared to places like the UK. I think the biggest advice that I would give to students considering uh, an education overseas, uh, maybe in, even in Australia, is that to keep an open mind when they choose to come overseas to study because there's so many options out there, there's a lot of adventures out there, so get out of your comfort zone, get to know more people, do things that you've never done before.